and one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, you're fucking oh, no. Oh. oh no! Where's my big day join at, Bubba? You promised me when I came on this damn TV thing that'd give me a big old fat joint. What happened to it? Not Come on, man! Also right. The kind of love you give me every night. Lots of love and that is what I need. The kind of love will make a man out of me. So come on and love me. Yell it out of thing you got. God, I'm a soldier. You're putting me through. I tell you, baby, before I'm leaving you. Lots of love and that is what I like. The kind of love you give me every night. Lots of love and that is what I crave. The kind of take me to my Come on and love me Give it everything you got Make it sweet love to me every night So Make it sweet love to you every night Come on and love me All right, everybody, for the first 30 minutes or so tonight, we have the wildness of Mongo. <laughs> And Ooh. Megan Moshpit. Yeah. Hey, Bolt Neck Sound Chuck Redden in the house. Hey, Chuck. Hey, hello. hello, folks. And over here, everybody, my name is Rick E. I am one of the hosts. You're looking at Ariel, the singer of the band Against All Odds. And to kind of help guide and lead us through some of this madness and chaos, Dave motherfucking Jarvis, blow your brains out. <sighs> Shit, yeah. <laughs> Happy to be in this post-eclipse world that we're in. Did everybody experience any post-eclipse uh, coital? Nope. <laughs> Sounds coital. Nah. You mean the apocalypse, man? Did, did, or what was that? Nah, did anybody flip over? Did, did anybody <laughs> fuck during totality? I, you know, when it got all dark and shit and everything got good and quiet, I thought about going around, you know, fucking shit up, having a fun time. <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out which one I am. I looked in the sky and it was a big circle with a hole in the middle of it. Right there in the middle. And it was dark as it could be at night ah. during the middle of the day. Let there be light. The shadows, yeah, the shadows were cool and dizzying. Hi, <laughs> Al. Now. Hi, Al. Well, man, what time is it? 8 a.m.? <laughs> That's right. We <laughs> have to introduce you properly as well. We left you out in the intro. Al Cortez of the band. Cortez. Uh, Cortez. Hey, yeah. You know, on, on Halloween, we do gigs. We all dress up as pirates. And we go as Cortez. <laughs> Mongo, how you doing, brother? Hey, man. Hey, Megan. Hey, hey. And David and Rick. Wow, very cool. Good to see those guys. Yeah, it is. So, what's up, hey, guys? Uh, Hillbilly Throwdown again. That's right. Number four, Number 2024. Look at That's that. what we're doing. We're just here talking about it. We blow your brains out every uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m., and we just get together with the best of local Dallas-Fort Worth entertainment and hang out and have a good time in our motherfucking living rooms. That's cool as shit, man. I dig this. I love the setup, man. Very nice. Yeah, that end is cool, man. I like, a, I like how the... Uh... Everybody's on the same page here. Exactly. <laughs> yep, and I can play little videos, now, what, little music. Come on. What is the what is the favorite thing to drink when you're on the on the river? Who are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the alcohol. There's got to be a for that. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> is it shine? Moonshine is good. That don't hurt you at all. Is it whiskey? If you notice, I've been in the hills for a while getting my moonshine on. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone yeah, ever been moonshine? 
So you know, oh, uh, Mongo. you look you look so healthy. Question for all y'all. It's a quick question for all y'all. Where are you going to be when when everything else hits the fan? <laughs> We're going to be at the Hillbilly Throwdown Float Fest on May the 18th. Partying your ass off. That's yeah. what I'm doing. So, yeah, Ooh, you know. Uh, like was, I'll so say it, Chuck. The, the last thing I was thinking about was, you know, how, how it always sounds good and it's always a good time. You know, and for the past few years, it's a, it's been a, it's been a ritualistic thing. I think everybody's gotten used to it, and then you know wants to do it again. A lot of fun. I'll drink to that. Hell yes, yeah. Last year, I got to sit up there with Michelle Johnson, and we did a little bit of our side project, John Tez. It was a lot of fun. And yeah. it was awesome. Oh, and I even got to do a song with you guys. You played with us too, didn't you? Well, that last that last show that we did, that was Randy's last show before he passed away. Oh my lord! He, he, was he in your band? I, I don't remember him. Yeah, man. What, what instrument was he? Guitar. Wow, that's, I'm ter that's terrible, man. Well, you know what? Live every day like it's your last, man. I tried to, because you know yeah. that's what you got to do, man. You got to live for the day, and today is the day. Man, oh, y'all played it that night. Y'all killed it that night. Y'all rocked. It was a great Everybody time, a man. Time. It was, it was a good time, time that night. So, uh, so Saturday, that's on a Saturday, right? May 18th? Saturday, May 18th. What's We're hoping everybody comes and parties with us. Again? What'd you say? Do you know what that lineup is and the times and all that? You know, uh, there may be some other additional surprises coming, so that's why lineup hasn't been released, but that's something you and I could talk Megan, about. Megan, we talked surprises. about that. Okay, well, let me know. You know, we there's a lot of good bands. I'm sure that would like to go out there and and uh, and and uh, if you need any, any extra bands, let me know. We might be talking about that. I saw you added Jimmy Moody. Jimbo. Yeah, he's gonna open things up. Jimbo, yes, we love Jimbo. Oh. Jim cool. Moody, he, he was before. almost on it before one time. Remember back whenever you guys were going to play Ricky and you had that emergency? Yeah. He was on it that year too, but um, he also had a situation. But, you know, what goes around and it kind of seems to be that this show is like a community festival. And once people become a part of it, they come back, they're a part of it again. Right, Al? Right. Yeah, I'll just check it right, out. Right, Michael. My glasses on. Right, yes. Chuck. Yes. I can do it without you guys. This is my team. It's my team that makes it awesome. Thank you for Speaking having us team. over at your Thanksgiving festival. Uh, that was so great. That was so deliciously great. It really was. Well, this time we're going to have to barbecue and do some things too. I, I'll, bring, I'll bring my award-winning drink that I'm drinking right now. It's incredible. You guys, the facilities at this place is way better than any other of the years, to be honest. They have a shower, real nice bathrooms with handicap. Uh, you know, they're large. Um, the stage is fully built. There's a pavilion for the guests to be under if it rains. It's just real nice. Well, they had a bunch of uh, deli trucks and all that at the last one. There was a lot of food and stuff like that, things you can buy and so forth for the kids and all that. So geez, that, was that was really year. awesome. Uh, last year was the most vendors I had. Uh, so that Iron, was pretty cool. Iron Mang is in the chats and they're offering to play. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Iron Mang is a Black Sabbath tribute and they're really fucking good. It's amazing. Yeah, how like exact they yeah, are the sounding to the I just seen that earlier today. <coughs> so and there it is. That's Eddie Lee. Like just other. let him know he'll be here with us all night. Go hey. ahead, Dave Jarvis. Get in my DMs. <laughs> are there gonna be grills already there for people to set up? Well, there is grill, actually or? gonna be a barbecue truck coming out, so there'll be barbecue for purchase. <laughs> It's so so if somebody's playing their own, all, 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 all they get their knees broken or something? 
No, just um, you know, be careful. You know, um, there's there's um, like a fire pit. I don't know how many exactly if we'll be able to have any other fires other than that uh, one fire pit, but that is centrally located at the main pavilion. So, you know, we'll keep it going all night. It'd be funny if just motherfuckers are like hiding around the corner and just be like, my man, my man, truck roast over there, $2.50 per pound. I can get it for you for $1.75. What's up? Do not buy any uh ground beef or anything out of Dave Jarvis's jacket, y'all. Don't do it. <laughs> do not buy my 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 tainted meat. I can just see him being like oh, five dollars. <laughs> Someone in right. the chat like like to know. It just like slabs just hanging out. <laughs> Your burger smell like onions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, someone in the chats wants to know if you have any uh, extra juice, Chuck Redding. I get some every once in a while. This right here is one that we just finished up. It's a peach. Mm. Don't make shine. So did you make it? Uh, yes. It looks delicious, we man. Made, we made Sweet the lemonade. Shine and, a, and a friend of mine took it and added the peaches and boiled it down again. Made the peach kind of almost like mm -hmm. a brandy. Oh my goodness! Sounds like a party is what it sounds. Like. Man, I it can't. It's dangerously you're smooth, that. I must say. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying that because I am right now. Okay, you know how people have like uh, their connoisseurs of wine and stuff like that. Uh -huh. well, I'm connoisseur of cider, and I gotta oh, yeah. tell you, I gotta drive sixty miles south of the Pecos to pick this up. And it is so fucking good. Oh, My yeah. next door neighbor she's, uh, uh, just got her husband. She's only 35 years old. Her husband's 55 years old. And he somehow just passed away. But she comes over every morning for this fucking cider. It's made by Dickens, man. Every morning, she's over there knocking on my door. What the fuck? It's not her, goddammit. <laughs> 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 Open the door, and she, you know what she wants or something? It's made of Dickens tickets. So it's best <laughs> she wants her some of that dick insider, and goddamn it! Uh, so I let her in, give her some dick insider. I want that she alcoholic apple juice. It kind of slides off the side of her face and stuff. She just loves. <laughs> Good shit. Man. I love it. She likes hers nice and warm. Next day goes by. You know what? You know who that is? So, you know, you know what she wants? Cider. Dick Come on, some of that dick and cider. That's right, man. So I take care of her. But that's it, man. So I respect you, man. I love my Facebook card. You're like a walking Hallmark card. <laughs> hey, Mongo. I got pictures at your club, us playing Fatal Fate, my bad Fatal Fate, uh, with uh, my keyboard so I used now back in the day, I think it's 80s, at the Mongo Club. <laughs> say it again. What did you say? Remember your Mongo Club back in uh, uh, was it the eighties? It was 90s? over off of Lancaster. It was in the nineties. Yeah, the but 90s. yeah. It was <laughs> in the nineties. <laughs> My band Fatal Fate. We used to play there all the time, man. Right, I remember that. Wow, wow. I'll drink to that. I drink to that too. I'll, I made some I'll drink to remembering that. We had a lot of good good times there, man. Man, I we had some great times. I can tell you some stories, but I won't. We'll leave it till I see you live. <laughs> yeah, no stories are for you. Oh, don't tease me, bro. <laughs> so everybody else is doing good. I see. Yes, sir. Uh, I think that's yeah. Me and Jim I'm Beam are hanging out for like the evening. This. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on and love me. It's me and my smoke. <laughs> Give it Start everything you got. Open here. Come on. Give it everything you got. Uh, uh, that's why, you know, cocktail. I like to, uh, you know, get a pull every now and then. Man, that fucking song, uh, Mother Love Bone, that's a rocker, dude. I love every bit of that song. Well, thank you. You know it's what? A, you know what, Mongo? It, it, you know, I wrote it about a band, actually. Yeah. 
If you well, believe man, that, then, then, yeah. I mean, I, I, I was sure it was a lady you were talking about, but... Uh, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, love. it's because there used to be a band back in the in the 80s when I worked at a club called On the Rocks. Mm-hmm. And that was, that, name, that was the name of the band, so, you know... Uh, Mother Love Bone? Yeah, okay. Mother Love Bone. I, I, I guess I do uh-huh. remember that band. Yep. I remember when they played uh, Tommy. The original singer was yeah. uh, Andy Wood. Yeah, there you go. Come on. So anyway, yeah, yeah. I wrote that song about him, and it, it was like, you know, because <laughs> all the times that I used to deal with him was some, you know, was always some kind of hilarious shit that all involved like girls and girls that were like not dressed hardly at all. <laughs> so you know, back in them days, and that's what it was about. But you know, nowadays, having fun. I got this new record that we've been working on for quite a while now. But I'm proud to say that uh, I didn't lose all the files when my computer blew up the other day. Oh, thank, thank God! Because <laughs> you've been one working thing about this new life and this new world that we live in. Your computer fucks up. You're pretty much. You're pretty much. You're fucked up. You got to. You know what back. I do. I went because I got my uh, Facebook page compromised and lost lots of contacts with that in the band. I went yeah. out and got me a fucking Rolodex the other day. Paper Rolodex, and I put all my important contacts there. Yeah. You can lose it all in a minute, man. Lots of memories went away. Yeah, you can. Well, well, you know, first, you know I've always been a fucking, I've always been a uh, advocate of, you know, backing things up. But the day that I told myself to back it up, I'm like, well, I got to go get a hard drive. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'll be damned. I didn't turn it so much on the next day. <laughs> and it needed to be backed up that night before that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, you know, shit happens. But you dig your way through it. So uh, uh, as you can tell, everybody's still a, a veteran of the you know the uh, psychotic wars that we're all going through nowadays. So uh, I'm just happy to see everybody, and then it's going to be fun to get out and jam. Like I said, the, the last time that we played uh, over there, this last year's show was Randy, the guitar player. Um, you know, it was uh, it was his last show. And we never knew it was going to be, you know what I'm saying? We thought yeah. that everything was going to go on and everything was going to be cool. But yeah, Randy Blackwell was his name and he played in a band called Def Con and we played in that band together long, many years ago. But, uh, you know, after time now, it's gone by and stuff. It feels good to be an old motherfucker like me. Still kicking. Still kicking. We're still kicking, man. We're like roaches. Yeah. We're gonna get still rid of going, roaches. still having fun, man. And I won't stop. Hell yeah. yeah I, I'm looking forward to the gig and we're, uh, I got some prize, some, some prizes for you that night. It should be a, it should be a really good time. I love surprises. <laughs> Could I get a precious lock of your beard? Yeah. <laughs> And plus, you know, I got my new, uh, you know, my new old drummer back. Your new old drummer. Oh, yeah. It, it's Verticus Maximus. Come on. Verticus oh, Maximus. Yeah. Reeling in the years. But yeah, you know, I'm going to be doing a, I got a little cover band thing rolling too. And, you know, I'm just having fun playing in my old age because, you know, they forced me to retire. Now that I, that, I, that I drive around in a scooter and shake my fist at motherfuckers and tell them, hey, get off my lawn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 you know, it's, uh, you know I, I turned 60 years old, man. I never did think I'd live this long. But uh, I'm telling you right now, I'm having a good time, man. And with the support of all my friends and loved ones and stuff, man, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a real, it's a real deal that I've been living and living this long and having a good time and still doing what I love to do. Amen. Rock and roll. Yes, sir. Johnny, welcome to the party, baby. Thank, thank you, thank you. Peace. Peace, love, dope, hair pie. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
I've been waiting all day to do this fucking show all day today. <laughs> Come on. I admire your enthusiasm. This is my favorite show of the week. Cool, cool. Uh, you're the best. Here we are all together. And I, I, saw we Ar- I saw Arkansas in the comments. Hey, Arkansas, how you doing, girl? I need a big fucking screen TV, man. It's really hard to see who's who on this little bitty fucking phone. Yeah, but I'm fixing to go have eye surgery, man, maybe tomorrow, and, and uh, then I'm going to have a new eye. Uh, no and kidding. then I'm going to have my eyes on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Eyeballs freak me out. Are you really going to have eye surgery? Yes, I am. Well, yes, wild. I am. I rubbed some that cornea right there here. Can you see that? How my eyes all kind of weird looking. Here, let me look close. Maybe I can. There we go. Ain't oh, yeah, awesome. you ever seen Santa Claus looking down the barrel of a damn cell phone? Ho, 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 motherfucker. What is this, don't you know? Bad <laughs> Santa. He said, look what Santa Claus found. The knees in the fucking milk and cookies that Santa Claus like. <laughs> I knew I smelled something. Damn. Hey, blow me yeah. something that through the fucking phone, and I'll sit right here and try to get, get it. Get your blood right here, bro. Oh, here we go. <laughs> blow me a hit. I think you've had enough, Cortez. There you go. <laughs> Give me it. Oh. Oh shit, that's that C-Sec Amelia shit, man. That is man, that is like that. <laughs> it's a fog bank rolling in. It's <laughs> called my brains. <laughs> Holy, make me want to go play golf. Come on. <laughs> hey man, I'll play you and I'll use my pinky wedge. <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> you got to have something for the pain of it all. I hear you, brother man. <laughs> Even though I am a pain in the ass to all, but you know, I'm <laughs> I'm just trying. Damn. You know, I told my mama when I was young that I was going to grow old enough to be a pain in the ass, and uh, <laughs> you know, I think I pretty much made it. <laughs> <laughs> I started out a pain in the ass. Well, you know, that's how everybody starts out. <laughs> now I'm better. You got, you got wants and needs, you know, and things that you really have to have. You know, your diapers changed. Um, you know, wheels for underneath your ass because you can't get there yourself. So you got to get somebody to help push you around. I'm almost like I'm going back to infancy again. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Twice a child, man. You're a child once when you're born, and you get to the middle age, and you get older, and you're a child again. That's From right, who's man. your bubba to who's your baby? I ain't ever seen a toddler hit a pipe like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't it's know a new age, bubba. <laughs> it was very tasty. Thank you. The high to a grasshopper, Mongo, was smoking weed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Texas. Oh. Yeah, that's where all that music comes from, man. You know, I can't. Like the, like the baby Help from uh, Roger creative. Rabbit. My stogie. <laughs> Got a big old stogie. <laughs> that baby was straight evil. Yeah. Hey, man, that baby was a gangster, man. What yeah, he was a gangster baby. <laughs> So hey, I want to watch this again. It's every Wednesday at eight o'clock. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at eight o'clock. Every Wednesday. And what do you drop right. into? Do you we are like here to blow your mind. Like you go to Facebook or something like that to yeah. log in somewhere. YouTube. Facebook, YouTube. It's probably on YouTube. What's it called? On YouTube. Uh, Facebook does Facebook quit allowing our program due to a couple of reported Facebook posts. Or something. <laughs> Facebook has some odd odd rules, and all I know is right now, currently, they're not allowing yeah. me to live stream on any of my Facebook channels. Wow, uh, that's okay. I, though. You it can't gonna... advocate suicide if you don't actually want to die. Uh, oh, that man. could be it. That could be it. Oh, so how, how uh, honestly, it? bro, I think it wasn't actually the program. It's just people reported some of my posts. Some of the content or something. Podcast, bitches. Hey, David. <laughs> yes. Hey, David. Honestly, I think it's some other post. Not hey, the actual. Al. 
Is this you are in dank Ordnia? I believe you gave Hardcore me this shirt. country. Hey, you know what? You gave Once. me a shirt like in the nineties at the rail when the stage was the other way around. And I get asked more by more girls to get a picture of them with this t-shirt. And I go, Wow, well, that's cool. And they said, Now turn around and put your hair up. Kill bitches. Y'all still make up. Yeah. It's funny that I gave that to you in the 90s because I joined the band in 2012, but right on. That was the best t shirt y'all ever made, man. Sorry to get off the subject. Just wanted to say that. Oh, you're good. It's cool. We like, also have a hat that says drink to your shit. Out there. Bro, thanks for wearing that shirt and sporting it like that. that yeah. Was, you know what? Makes I'm me want to go grab yeah. my it looks, it looks really sexy on you. On. And again, <laughs> they want me to turn around and I didn't want a picture of me. They want to put my hair up and take a picture where the kill bitches is usually girls. It cracks me up. But so cool. uh, yeah, I'm I bad. love Dank, man. They are, are they still around? They're fun. It I guess they are still around. They were the first time I ever seen uh, uh, Square dancing done in the mosh pit, man. It was very cool. Very cool. Dude, the, the, the surround sound on this show is like fucking altered states, man. It's like I'm getting little blurbs from here. I'm getting little puffs of weed from over here. It's crazy, man. Man, that's great quality here. His father supported the family. I can see everything that you're changing to. It looks like a big blur because I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Sorry, Ariel. Iron Man. Hey. <laughs> Iron Man. May I just say, I think Ariel has a really nice smile. Aww, yes. Thanks. So I was, cute. I was, I was gonna do that with my hair dude today too, man, but just wanna do it. Okay, so this lady here, Jovial de Pustas, she's a guitar player singer and she performs live on her YouTube channel. She says she just subs to against all odds. Thank you all odds for taking care of all the bands in the chats and posting all the links. That's really fucking cool of you. Hey. Welcome to the party, our new friend. Yeah. Welcome. The name of your band is Against All Odds. Yeah. yeah, this is Ariel on screen here. She is the powerful vocalist of the band Against All Odds. Sweet. Well, I'll check it out on Utah, YouTube. Guess yeah, all are. Great. It. Got it. Check us out, too, yes, man. Check it out uh, in Utah. Says we're out there on uh, social media. We've done five CDs. We finished our last one and starting on our new one. And, yeah, uh, right now. Yeah, what do you, what do you think uh, your new stuff will be? What are you looking at? When are you looking at that uh, being really, finished? When? When? Our when? At Jake Gilligan's in Arlington with George Call and his band Aska on Saturday night, April thirteenth. That's gonna be killer. Oh man, it's gonna be. I hope everybody can make that. That's gonna be a great show, man. Where's it at? Hey, Al Cortez, what is your YouTube channel? Uh, Cortez, you are Al Cortez. Just Google it right there on YouTube, and we've got lots of videos there. Or you can just go to my uh, uh, Facebook account, Al Cortez, and I got lots of video there, which will take us to your my Reverb page, which I have lots of music, lots of video, our bio, everything on Reverb Nation, and uh, gives us a ranking there. And you can check all our stuff out there and buy stuff. Wasting time from three months ago. You want to listen to that? I got it right here. Listen. Uh, I can play the YouTube channel. Play it. That's, that's on the new. That's on the new uh, CD. It's gonna make it made it cut there. I want to go smash the guitar, man. I'm a 
Rock and roll. Fuck <laughs> oh, yeah, that's rock and roll. Fuck yeah. That's good. That's good river metal right there. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this year is going to be the most metal that it has been. We're taking over. It is. I can't help it though. <laughs> like, even the logo is metal. You guys know that Carcass John drew Billy Hill. Our like new official logo. He's got oh, another cool. one for me. He's working on right now a new awesome. little Billy Hill cartoon. Fucking awesome! You guys, yeah, Carcass awesome. John is good, like man. as far as art goes, he's a metal legend too, in his own right. You know. Yeah. Will we be making shirts? Um, you know what? This year, you know, since everything kind of happened so fast, there will only be last year's shirts. But last year's shirts have the Billy Hill art, and they're awesome. Cool, cool. Can't wait. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go check it out. Oh, uh, yeah. See Al. The see the site. Al, uh, last time you were in, or, or last time you were over at Mavericks, uh, my dad was in town from California, and y'all uh, spoke for a good while. He uh, still says, you're cool as shit, and that's really rare because he usually doesn't associate with scum like us. <laughs> My dad's the same. <laughs> hey, Al's, Al's a pretty good guy. I Al like is him. a really cool guy, literally. Hey, I met him a while Megan, back. Oh, dude, he's wonderful, right and now. he's charming. Like that's that's that's, that's the problem. He's too fucking charming. That's the problem. He's very charming. <laughs> it's like he's a special nice skill, Al. Kind of you like know what? You, you know what? You are absolutely right. I have uh, been with a girl, <laughs> a girl in particular or two that had to break up, break up with me because they said I was too nice. And that's just the way I was brought up. I was like, okay, you bitch. How's that? Ah! Um, like, hey, I'm too fucking nice, like me now. you guys, um, I just noticed it says three, 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 three. We just like <laughs> are barely over our time. I don't want to like. Uh, run into the time for her but i do want to just go around and and ask like what everybody's up to so that everybody watching can kind of get you know so once again um al tell us about your show you have coming up in april Ooh, way yes. to go megan hello al <laughs> yes and um, i'll uh, next saturday at jay Gil uh jay gilligan's in arlington i'm sure jerry knows where that's at uh with aska we're gonna have a cd release party for both of us and then our next show will be at May 18th at the Hillbilly. Yeah. Hillbilly Throwdown. And, and your Jay Gilligan show is this weekend? Yes, this weekend, Saturday night. We're going to be at the 12 Midnight Show. Till yeah. we stop. We got five CDs worth of stuff we're going to be playing, oh. including that song you played. And by the way, thank you so much for giving me a shout out, my brother. And oh, Al, yeah, if man. you if you send roll. them, if you guys, any of y'all send them your flyers for any of your upcoming shows, they do um, a segment at the end of the show where they show all the local shows oh, and everything oh. to go and do. Weakness. So do yes. that. And also and then, send us your MP3s because we will play your band. Man, thank Check you. There's you a tease on our new introduction for our weekly concert calendar. And then Chuck, you always have stuff going on with Boltneck. So I was just going to ask you, other than the Hillbilly Throwdown, what else do you have going on coming up? I've got uh, more Rodney, like more Rodney uh, Festival coming up Saturday out at the Dirty Water Saloon. It's a once a year thing that they've been doing for homeless people, feeding the people. 
Sunshine Emery puts it on, and uh, she feeds a lot of people every Thursday down there on uh, Fort Worth on the Lancaster. That is wonderful. That's very sweet. So everything that Fuck they do. Yeah. It's, uh, Shout out Sunshine Emery. Shout out. Yep. Uh, the Chula Chasers are sponsoring it again this year. They always do a great job for the uh, kids. We love uh, our Chula Chasers. Yep. And uh, so it's all kind of a combined thing. I'm finishing up a bunch of tracks for a guy, Cash Ford. He's a new up and coming artist right now that is just going to kill the country charts. And finishing up some songs now for a band I hate that I really enjoy. You know, metal's always. <laughs> and I hate, it's I hate with I H 8. And they uh, usually do Blue their I normal, they do a thing. H8. That's Blue right. H 8. I hate yes. uh, those guys. Or, boy, they got a place in my heart. They are true Texas metal again. God, Check them out. Those guys. those guys like to play uh, the venue that we're playing this year. Oh, yes. Uh, Ever August. I think it's going to be moved to July this year for the Hate Fest. It'll be hate at the same place, Star on the Brass. And uh, they've always got it. It's a full metal lineup. And, I mean, they, it, they kick you in the teeth every time. That's gonna be another festival. Gonna say, there, uh, last time yeah. I was over at Bolt Neck, uh, Corey played me a little bit of that Cash Ford. I like it. It's not quite rock country, but it's getting there, and I like that. It is a different. It's a different kind of country. Uh, he's a little more rock. He got a rock guitars, but a country voice. So it's a little good blend. And uh, be looking for a couple of new uh, singles from him and a new album coming out probably at the end of the year. Uh, here's and another bolt neck band Chuck here. Are working that on found. a bolt neck compilation. Sorry, Dave. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're working on getting a couple of bands. A band uh, that originally started kind of up the Trespassers are going to do a pretty much like a theme bolt neck song. It's called Bolt Neck, and it's about Frankenstein. So check that out, ass. Check out yeah. some of the new stuff. I've already that. Uh, laid down uh, tracks yeah. for a track that I called uh, uh, It's Alive, which is totally based off of the podcast that I was doing for a little bit over at uh, Bold Neck. But yeah, it's also got a, uh, a Frankenstein comes alive kind of feel to it. And then I just want to say for anybody listening, if you are looking for a good sound man, someone reliable, someone honest um, that will work with you and can handle literally any situation that you throw at them, contact Chuck. Boltneck has never let me down. Boltneck Studio, right? Uh, and Boltneck, then Boltneck Sound. Boltneck That's sound, right. You know what I think they make it crapping. Right? My studio page got hacked. And I have no access to it, so now everything I'm pushing to the bolt neck sound. No, I did a tr I did a lead track in there for somebody at your yes. studio for me. Yes, uh, oh, it was, was for, it for David. you. Yeah, it was for David. It was, it was on my like, ah! second, second oh, album. Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, You're you know too what? young for this. Just one big happy family around here. God, I like to go back and look for that track. You know, I don't remember is because. Uh, because of all that pre-production we had before we did the track, it was like, okay, I got set up in like five minutes, and that five minutes was time to do the pre-production. Uh, uh, you might have had too much that, that it was like, I, I don't remember doing three tracks of it, man. I, I remember it sounded good, though. We it did, did a video <laughs> somewhere out there. Oh, it sounded fucking what. fantastic. <clears throat> and, uh, you, me, and Kyle and Alicia, we went out to that park over in Mansfield. And filmed the video for it. It was good times. Shut good times to have by all. Man, I'm sorry. God damn, that was. I remember that. And then, yeah, that was just about a year or two ago. So that's what happens when you get older. And you just forget shit, man. You live in the moment, man. This was about five years ago, but it's okay. Oh man, well I love you for having me in. I remember Bolt Neck. That was a very relaxed place. There. I like that. I like that. Go in there. Hey, we the all have a little memory not, loss, man. I'm the worst. Out, I'm like fucking Dory, man. I forget where I'm going five minutes after I start off. I went like, out to, I, I literally, before we came in, <laughs> before we came in here, I went to my Jeep and I went to get something out of it. And I, it was in the glove compartment. I put my hand in the glove compartment and I forgot what it was, but I knew it was in the glove compartment. So I had to empty everything out of it till I found what it was. And like, oh man. So yes, I, I get that. Funny. 
Hey, Johnny. Marijuana affects the memory. It's no. true. Long. Lots, many years of it. Mongo. 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 Fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get up in the morning and remember to fix breakfast, though. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you make a good breakfast, too, boy. Best middle of the day. Well, you know, fuck yeah. Uh, all you guys, man, I, you know, I've seen you guys jam uh, numerous times. I love Dank, man. Uh, I love Dank. We've had some, we've had some good times with them too. I'm learning. Dank hey, David, Dank. do you remember Dank that time y'all guys played? Do y'all remember that time y'all guys played uh, together for me for that show at the Rail? Yeah. It was like 2015, I think. Mm. And you it was know, with Scarred I've done Soul. A lot of drugs over the years. Well, it was Scarred Soul, Philly okay. Orchestra, and Dank. And that was badass. <laughs> uh, well, I believe you. T-shirts, I trump all y'all. Oh, we can roll. We can roll the footage. <laughs> roll that beautiful bean footage, come on. So anyway, the the thing coming up that we're going to be doing together it should be a really good time that's right i know, I know that the uh the, the the grounds and stuff like you said before are uh, a lot nicer at this facility than before i mean i like the uh setup you know pretty much every time we've done it so charlie always you know the everybody always makes it good so you know that's it's right a, nobody uh there's nothing lacking, you know, in that. So great sound, Charlie. It's a great sound, man, man. I got to tell you. you know, it's always great music and great sound, no matter yeah. what. And it's BYOB, and you can camp there, so you can't lose. I mean, just if you come and you get drink a little too much, just fall down in somebody's tent or something, you know? <laughs> Wake up, drunk. <laughs> Chuck can nail dank sound, he can nail anybody's sound. Well, there you go. Well, uh, I sure I am played most, of the shows, most of the shows that I played, I think uh, Chuck was running sound. Oh, yeah. And, he gets and, around. <laughs> man, he, he does have the best sound. I can always count on you, Chuck. So thank he you does. always for thank being there sure. for thank me, bro. Check that shit down. was really Come important to me. And then, you know, I can, I can say this about uh, Chuck. At the studio over there. That's a uh, that was uh when he started it and it's grown and it's been a really good thing in progress and and uh, many a talent rolled in and out that door had a good sound, you know, coming and going. You, but uh, also, I, I threw my uh, four track task can in the trash. I went and seen Mongo and bought, no, some I have no. <laughs> bought his secondhand Sorry. stuff and I started from there and now I've all new equipment i keep everything up to date and try to keep you know everything clean and you know natural for everybody I had one of and you do a good job and also on that note mongo is a hell of an engineer too and he does really good production as well mongo productions i i've picked if you're in the dallas area and you need somebody <laughs> that has skills hit mongo up yes i got mongo on speed dial Mongo on speed dial. You know what? I got a pretty good recording studio. I've recorded five of my CDs that we're sitting in right now. Exactly. Yes, yeah, you do you know, great work. Everybody's got out. a studio or a fucking podcast. Jesus. I got my own studio. <laughs> I got my own room. I got acoustic We're entrepreneurs. Uh, Megan's been to, the, been to the studio before. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And we uh, we have done five CDs. Uh, I did Michelle Johnson and I did our John Tess CD in here. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a lot of guests that y'all know that has came in here and did some work. Uh, but I don't mention those guys and stuff. And I don't very rarely when I do stuff like the dank guys, I told them that they couldn't mention that I did it and they did. But it, that was a lot of fun. And I really remember that as a great time, man. Cool, cool. Anyways, check us out, man. And the whole thing, the whole setup, it's going to be a great fun of entertainment all day. Is it going to only go one day? Um, Just maybe? one day this year. Are you two years or two we'll days play. is a lot. Two days is really hard. It's just me throwing everything together. So I'm just doing one day this year. What, what time is the music going to start? 
Well, I'm thinking it's going to start during the daytime. And of course, Chuck will be spinning some sounds and jams before we really kick everything off. So I think we'll probably up. start like maybe two in the afternoon and just go all day. Yeah, that's what you want to do, man. That's what you want to do. 12. It's busy, boo! Mr. Bill's going to come through there and Mr. Sluggo is going to kick some real ass. So I'm going to be, if you'll see me jamming that night, I'm telling you, Cortez, we're looking for it. Come on. It's going to be a killer time, baby. Do not take the purple acid. It's frightening, isn't it? Take the purple acid. <laughs> Well, you know, when you get old now and you need something to remind you of some shit, go clean your damn warehouse out and find all this kind of shit like this. There was a, there was a year where some Beautiful. mushrooms went around once. Oh, that was intense. pretty intense. Man, this guy, this guy right here, he watched um, he watched a lot of uh, recording going on at the studios down in Deep Ellum and all over everywhere I've ever had a studio that uh, I've had this little dude. He was in a He's package. Seen some shit, man. He <laughs> had seen it, bro. That is cool as shit. Been there and done it. He even got high with Snoop Dogg. Come on. No. <laughs> Come in class. Yeah, man. Where's Max Lassa? Is he waiting in the wings? Uh, if she were, I would tell you, I'm waiting on her to contact me. Oh, well, cool. We'll just stick around a little more then. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time. You know, if if, if it changes, I'll let you know. Okay. Are. I was trying to make sure we, you know, wrapped it up. That's so Thanks sweet of her to let You're us awesome. have a moment. Maybe she's kind of watching and letting us do our thing, you know. I can't she's wait. Like, you she's a good looking girl. What is, uh, you she's know. actually working. Oh, she's working. Yeah, well, she's let, working. Uh, tell us about what what she does. Tell us about some of the things she's done. And Max Wausau is about to come on here, y'all. Better watch out. I am BD here. Oh, wow. uh, she might be a uh, tough challenge to Mr. Bill here, though. Oh, shit, Mr. Yeah. Bill. You, you don't stack up, buddy. Mr. Bill. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That boy is sick. I got something to stack up against, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, she's an actress and a producer and like has managed a bunch of bands. She's done a ton Hell yeah. of shit. Hell yeah. And I can't wait to hear the music. So what is the deal? Is she coming on to be a guest on the show or is she like yeah, she, uh -huh. she has lined cool up? Too. Yeah, she is. Up. I've been in touch with her via messaging, and uh, she just warned me ahead last week said I'm going to be working in Vegas doing something. I didn't ask her. Oh why. shit! No, oh. you can't. I mean, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I I offered to get her a couple of cappuccino americanos earlier, and uh, told her we'd be ready, and asked her if she could be on before eight p. I'm at nine p.m. our time, which is seven p.m. her time, or Vegas time. It's two hours behind. You're only one hour ahead of me, right? Yeah, Vegas time, one hour ahead of the of Central time. I like me some old Vegas, man. Back about 15 years ago, you couldn't walk on the sidewalks without so many people. And hopefully it's getting back to the way it was. You know, after the COVID hit, it was like ghost town forever. Wasn't well, this show last week we talked about the Tropicana closing? Yeah, yes. so sad. Cheers, Tropicana. Aren't went, they building a stadium there? Aren't the A's moving? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what's happening. And I was luckily to go stay at some of those hotels. That was a cool old hotel. But yeah, it's changing. And, and well, hopefully it's doing better. They got their own football team now, too. I they just don't understand. No, like they took the Raiders. Out. They took yeah. the Raiders. The that ain't theirs. They need if Leslie was there. live today, she'd be throwing a fit. I'm pissed they, that they have a I hockey hope team. Their stadium's air conditioned. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of music in Vegas. Yes. Yeah. A lot of musicians, a lot of talent out there. For sure. 
hopefully they're getting the national people back out there. I was out there a year or two ago, a couple of times and, uh, they didn't have, it, it was right, right after the COVID and, uh, there wasn't a lot of worldwide national acts like they used to. They used to take residency there because people come and go out of that city. One person uh, can be there a year and play to millions and millions of people at Caesar's Palace. It's it the best place to see a production. It is when you see uh, uh, something like Def Leppard at Caesar's Palace, it's a production. It's different than being at a regular arena watching him play. Gotcha. So uh, I went and I seen many acts there, including Celine Dion. And I'm not a Celine Dion fan, a fan but she made me cry. She has an angelic voice. It was, the production oh, yeah. was amazing there, though. Uh, and I was blessed to go. Uh, coming from a music family, I was uh, going in the early, early days. And I've been to Vegas about 50 times. And the most thing I'd, I'd like to do is go there and see the shows and stuff. Yeah. I got to see a lot of good shows. And I'll do a little bit of gambling when I'm there. On a limit, but uh, speaking of what your about family, playing? you play out there, Al, uh, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I would love to go out there and play in Vegas, man. You know who would make a living out there is some of these, and I hate to say the the word tribute bands, but there's oh, for a sure. Of good, there's a couple of good ones here that are are vaguely infringing on copyright infringements there, but, <laughs> but they would do great in Vegas. Yeah, don't you guys feel Vegas, like they can sit there and play loud stuff and make a living? And play but don't people, you guys feel out. like cover bands get paid more anyway? Yeah, up, up they do. Cover they bands do. and country oh, bands they, get they paid more. Do. Cover bands have a contract; yeah. they get paid whether anybody shows up or not. That's, That's especially right. In Vegas, especially if you're at the level in Vegas and you accept tribute or copy. They have you on a contract, and you're gonna get paid no matter what. If you exactly. play the original and you know, whatever level you're on, you're gonna get paid. Hey, the local guys come out, gonna have a hard time, you know, just like us. With your yeah. contract, you can even be sick and you not show up and still get paid. Yeah, yeah. that'd be nice. Yeah, I just got depends on what are actually in a very reputable cover band. Dude, right I don't now, get that at my regular job. <laughs> Twenty-four hundred a night. It's Damn. Crazy. It's crazy what these guys, you know, they could say, hey, I had COVID that night, and they still get paid. See you in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, we'll rebook you. Get paid again. <laughs> yeah, so cover bands get paid more up front, but a local band that works hard at it and builds a, a, a fan base and people that go out to see the music and purchase the merchandise can make more money in the long run. And you think so? About that, I mean, it's hard thing. though. There's a lot of grinding There's and like no a lot of years spent. The main Look. thing about that, and I've been doing it here for an awful long time since I've been playing music since I was three years old. And three generations of Cortez, uh, my grandfather, Al Cortez Orchestra. So I was doing a lot of violin and cello and piano recitals before sixth grade. Yeah. And so I can tell you right now, and Mongo and Jerry, I'm sure would know on their side that, uh, you don't get paid a whole lot when you're starting out as an original act. You got to do it for the love of the deal. And I'm telling you right now, that's right. On the Cortez project on all our shows. I never have once got paid. I paid my two guys. They get the money and they split it between them and I'll get the merchandise. But I've been doing this since the set, late 70s, <laughs> since 1978. I've been running sound and lights and stuff. If it, it's more of a hobby. If uh, you right. are an original band or original whatever you're doing, you're basically paying for everything you pay to show up. If you've got any hired guns, you pay them first before That's anything right. you. And uh, it is a very, very hard thing to do. Something That's has right. to fall. Something has to fall. The chip falls on your side of the table, and it's that gold chip that you make. Vaguely get to do one song that becomes a hit, and then you step into the category of the one hit wonder. And then, if somebody really, really pushes herself and makes another hit, then you can step over the line. And before you know it, then you're everything falls your direction. Hey, you if know it's what? not your original, you, you are uh, it's a hobby, like me. I, I do this for a hobby. If I make money, it's the bonus. Period. It, it, Period. It's not, it's not. It's not work if you love what you do, man. I've I, always I loved love right. it. And that's what I do. I would not do anything else. I'm a retired mechanic. I worked on Hondas and Toyotas for 30 years. 
I retired from that. And I really, my whole life has been sound. I would get up at six in the morning, go work on cars. I get home, I would throw my lights on top of the car, tie them on it and run to a show somewhere and do a show for maybe $50. I would spend that on weed and alcohol. <laughs> That's because you do it because you love it. I'll tell you what, I love you guys. Call Chuck, your friend, your life is much richer because of it. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. We everybody. love you, Chuck. Thank you. I love all of y'all. Literally, like, um, he's been my sound guy from day one. Like, every time, like, oh. every curveball that Hillbilly Throwdown has thrown at him, and believe me, there have been a few, he has defeated it and conquered it and still slayed the sound and lighting uh, every time. Thank you. You must, you must be in L.A., uh, Megan, because it's daylight over there. No, I live in Costa Mesa. I'm like, a, I'm like from, it's the same like from Dallas to Weatherford. I'm that far from L.A. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm at my pool because California. I didn't think my house would be as nice of a background as my beautiful pool. Yeah, you and plus my neighbors are aware that I'm doing my podcast. They're so cool. <laughs> They're like behind me partying. Yeah, he's a movie star. <laughs> well, you're over here being famous. Whatever. <laughs> no, for me, it's the same the thing. Just sometime. like Chuck said, there has literally never really been money in it. It's just a matter of like what I love. I love, I love my friends. I love to represent their bands. I love hanging out by the river and having a drink or two. And yeah. listening to some great live music. And if you guys love that, then you should come hang out with me. Exactly. May 18th. Yeah. It's a Saturday. You have no excuses. You don't have to work Sunday. Just fall down in my tent. I go. will allow you to. There you go. Hey, you <laughs> know what? Uh, you need to get a big old tent and put it over there beside the stage. And we'll just start throwing them in that tent. Get about 20 or so guy people in that tub. If you fall fall down where you will, you will this be is fine. A you might get a little mosquito bit, but you're good. Just wake up and drive off the next day. Great party. <laughs> oh, I hate mosquitoes. You said the like the no word mosquitoes. Well, that's the reason you out. need a tent. But literally, I'm making it so easy for you to have a tent. It's just an extra 10 bucks. Isn't okay. Like, for an extra 10 bucks, you don't got to go nowhere. Just isn't camp that by, it. Isn't that by camp calling it. over there? Somewhere over camp there by calling Texas camp and skiing. Real good. You can fall down on your floaty. Use your floaty as I'm telling you. Those big long floaties, they make great beds. Great air mattresses. Great mm -hmm. beds. Just yep, float on right it on the day mm -hmm. and then sleep on it at the cool. night. Yeah, the there you go. Great right idea, is, Megan. About, uh, two miles <laughs> off of uh, Interstate 20, heading north toward Metro Wells on 281. It's right on 281. Uh -huh. You just go get off at the Stephenville uh -huh. exit. Instead of going left like you're going to Natty Flats, take a right like you're headed to Mineral Wells. Yeah. You're going to go down the street like two minutes, and about you're going to be at this place. On your, on your right. And it's on the right, it. yes. If you pass the second chicken, you've gone too far. That is correct. Uh, when you see <laughs> no, there's a big the sign. It says star on the car. river. You know you're at the right place. <laughs> I think they had a Ricky, the Ricky, show program. that picture. You can yeah, see it. It says that, star on the river. Please. And it's right past Weatherford? You, you need it, to get no, some, it's uh, just past Millsap, probably. It's the farmer. Uh, it's Santo. Chicken, no it chicken. probably has a Santo, ex, uh, Santo address. It's the Stephenville exit, but it's Santo. Yes, right there. But show yep. the um, show the gate. Yep, there's the address. Not the love of man is also right. The kind of love you give me up. There's the You'll gate. You'll see a big star. That was the quickest way to show the game. Not the love of man is also right. The kind of love you give me every night. Not the love of man is what I need. And you got scenery too. Far of the river. Yes, sir. Right. And Jimbo uh, Moody just joined us. And there may be some not. other surprises to come. You never know. I really love surprises. Well, hey, y'all, I'm going to have to bow out because I got some shit to get going on, but uh, 
I will definitely see y'all at the show. I love all yeah, yeah. of you all, man, and, and thanks for uh, supporting, you know, all of us and all of us supporting each other, you know, That's for our awesome. dreams to come true. Thank so. Amen. Thank you, Phil, man. Thank you. Love all y'all, man. We'll see you. Love you. Hey, before you go, you want to dance together? Check this out. <laughs> We're just gonna fill you in. Um, I say dope a lot, and a lot of the times it's very intentional. Dope, 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 that's dope, 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 that's dope. He's a pretty dope dude. 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 Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's facts. <laughs> We're just gonna you in. Um, <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> Is that the remix? <laughs> hey, yeah. can somebody send that to me so we can play it for my husband? <laughs> Where'd Al go? Al, you there? He gone. He gone. Looks like we lost the <laughs> on the dance. Chuck, tell I, I us again. Excited. Tell us Let again me... about that other shit you going on for I hate. Oh, I've got a, we're fixing uh two in the hole, uh fix and start three on an album with them. Uh we just released Reset and we've had great reviews on it already. It it's a banger. Uh we got a new one that's fixing to come out called Creep Show. Ooh. It's about the crazy clown at the carnival, you know. And uh, I got another cat, Cash Ford, that we're doing some for. And uh, we just released one for him a few months ago. We got a new one that's today. I just did the final mix on it. And uh, But I wanted to say, we haven't said anything about the 180 band. Oh, hell yeah. 180 West, we have not. I'm sorry. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney and he I, does the Weatherford Music Festival, which is awesome. I set up a couple of weeks ago with Rodney. Uh, I love that guy. He's uh, always trying to do the same thing we're doing. And That's I'm right. Got, I'm glad you got him on the bill because he's one of Me us. too. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. You guys, I have been year. trying to get them oh, on the bill. We got his stage last year, but this year we got That's him. That's right. Now we finally him. got him. Yes. Glad and they done. really are great. And they do a lot of good songs. And yeah, also they have an amazing drummer. They just uh, all around a great band. And Mo, who happens to also play in Hillbilly Orchestra, happens to be their bass player too. So it's like a double win. Double whammy. <laughs> double win. Yeah. But yeah. And so does Vinny. Vinny plays both back. bands too, the drummer. Yep. And uh, I'm glad we got to mention him because I almost forgot about getting him in on the talk, talking about it. We have the 180 band, 180 West. That's awesome. Yeah, so, so yeah. for any artists out there that are trying to find a studio that are, that's in the greater Fort Worth area, please hit up Chuck or Corey or Jared. Uh, and if you're part of the Boltnick family, you're family for life. And uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, mm -hmm. some of the best times of my life is just me just hanging out with Chuck and just mm -hmm. talking about uh, back in the day. Exactly. I'm uh, kind of got a little thing going with Dave. I'm trying to hopefully maybe pass all of my knowledge and the use of the equipment, how to use the equipment over to this guy to where one day he will be extremely knowledgeable behind the desk. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, it would be my hope, pleasure. I hope, I hope for everything that, I, that we show him, I hope he's sinking it all in. He's going to need it. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, brother. Uh, but uh, as long as I'm next to you, I feel like I'm in good hands. And you will be too, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Check is awesome. Yeah, I agree. He's the best. Even when I played solo, he's gone out of the way to like make my effects at the right time and different things that are just show he's paying attention. And as an artist, you kind of freak out when you run into a sound man that's actually listening to your music and mixing it. <laughs> 
So I appreciate you, Chuck. You've always been solid, bro. Thank you, sir. I appreciate everything. Hey, you've made me sound good. <laughs> Not usually a singer. And I sprung that on him too. <laughs> well, we all we all can sing, just some a little better than others. Aww. I didn't do terrible though. <laughs> yeah, we, we all can sing. We all sang in church. We all know how to sing. Just some of us are a little better. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, the, the plan right now is to release a uh, Bolt Neck compilation album every year. And it's going to be CD only. That's right. Uh, we should so do I just want to, to make an amazing compilation album every year. The way that they used to do back in the 90s where you couldn't really find out about an artist unless you got the disc or unless you got the cassette. And I want to bring that back because everybody is losing faith in these streaming sites. And so having physical media is the best way to go. Truth. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in that. And we should do um, Bolt Neck Showcase. I've done Here's a couple. Here's a whole fiscal. I've done a couple of showcases. Uh, actually, I've done uh, three. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested in a really loving black and white cat. And it was basically all acoustic artists or like a duo. And uh, the winner would get studio time. I did that three years in a row. And then uh, the last club I was at uh, doing them, uh, they closed rapidly. And uh, at Whiskey Business. And uh, then it kind of went south from there. And I've been thinking about doing another one. It would be the 4.0. Dude, yeah, if anybody in the DFW area is interested, uh, check out the client list of Boltneck, Soul Shifter, uh, Ashley Van Arsdale, Dank. I hate the, the, the quality of the recordings is just fantastic. You really regret. Are you're, you're in, you're in regret. good fucking hands with Jared, with Corey, and uh, with Chuck, man. And they will spin some webs of knowledge in your face. That's funny. I didn't realize I uploaded the and quattro, but everybody, it's vain. Hef joining us. What up, what up guys? I thought it was oh, quattro. Anytime I see that blue beard, I know I'm in a good place. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Hey, I just want to comment on that, that compilation because uh, I might have uh, mentioned today that, hey, let me do something on there. And he sends me a track, and I went, okay, you're trying to punk me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, you talking what? about Van oh. Quattro? Then, then I went, you know what? No. I'm going to punk him back. No, and no, no, no. I, 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 oh, <laughs> dude, no. absolutely fucking do it. No, no, I, I made this kind of weird, like, ministry. Like, remember when Ministry was on that movie, Artificial Intelligence, the, the Spielberg fucking Kubrick movie? Like yep. uh, Al Jorgensen was literally fucking with Spielberg the entire time. And I just thought, you know what? That is this track. And you know what? Hef, I think, totally <laughs> has the ability to, fu to fuck with me the way that uh, fucking Jorgensen fucked with Spielberg. Well, I got, I got something laid down and I will uh, share you a right next here later or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm not lying. I'm scared. It's way out of my fucking comfort zone. <laughs> it, 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 it took me a while. That's to what I love out. about collaborating. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out where, where, and what, and when, and do I stick with that type of, you know, your EDM type music, or I break those rules and just do it the way I want to do it. And I decided to do it the way I want to break do the it. rules, man. Break those fucking rules. Fuck right. rules. <laughs> exactly. That's why rules are there, so you can be broken. <laughs> Well, I definitely, I'm looking the track above me here on the screen. It's all laid out. It's a, it's a super, it's worse than a scratch track, but it's, it's laid out. And I just got to go clean up a little bit. And I'll let you hear it, man. And then, then we'll go from there. 
Dude, I can't Go. wait. Uh, who are you recording with, by the way? Uh, me, right here in Vane Studios. <laughs> oh, no. oh, everybody's got a fucking studio. God damn, man. <laughs> At least I have my own studio. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, my my end goal is just get a demo quality, and then if we if you like what I do, then we'll go do something at the right place. Oh, dude, uh, Chuck is the perfect set of hands to cradle the greatness that is. How about this, uh, Dave and Hef? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's like I joined just right right at the right time. So, uh, pleasure to meet you, Chuck. I'm Hef from Vane. Nice to meet you, sir. I'll like to send you some send you some of our tracks. Please do. Yeah, so I'm, I'm playing with this. Like I said, I think I got everything. Everything's done. I just got to now just put the, you know, put the uh, pen, not the pen of the paper. That's already been done, actually. Uh, just got to sing some of it and just get my cadence down, which I think I have. And, uh, and like I said, I'll, I'll get you a demo or quality version of it so you can kind of hear what I'm trying to do, what I'm doing, and then, you know, take some feedback from me or you can laugh at me and go, what the hell are you thinking, dude? <laughs> I'll be prepared for whatever. Dude, I'm fucking stoked, man. I can't wait to wait to hear that shit, man. This shit's gonna be fucking exactly. awesome. I, I'm yeah. still blown away by seeing y'all over at Diamond Gyms a month ago, man. So I, I'm oh, very, oh, very thank stoked. You. Thank you. Dude, got a show coming this weekend too. Reno's. Yeah, they do. Everybody's got a show this weekend. Yeah, Tell us about it, Hef. There you go, boom. Like there well, was, uh, I'll tell segue. you about it real Same quick. Now. I do I do have a really nice segue that I think you're going to enjoy. All right, get your asses out and have some fucking fun this weekend. Fuck yeah. Ooh, yeah. This Friday at Reno's Drop Shop, we've got the epic Iron Man, the amazing Vane. Thank you. Yeah. The <laughs> running out of adjectives, Dallas and Chains. Fresh off their recent tour with Pantera and Lamb of God. Now, has it's anybody the heard this band? Yes. yes. I'm curious. Do what? Has anybody heard this band? I'm curious. Nope. They're, re they're releasing an album on Friday. I have heard because I was like, when they were asked, they should be put on the bill. I'm like, who the hell are you? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> I've never heard of them. <laughs> what? Wait, so y'all are playing their CD release? That's awesome. So yeah, I guess yeah, they they released the uh, CD that which they haven't really been promoting it very big. Uh -huh. uh, I guess this is their first show off the tour with those guys. So either way, I'm looking to be part of it. Oh yeah, yeah promote the S out of everything. So it's gonna be a fun weekend for sure. Friday I mean, night. I, I I would assume if they're touring with Lamb of God and Pantera, they must be heavy as fuck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think so. Yeah, and I was crying. I was like, I, was, I had never heard of them, honestly, before. I and would mean they got to be heavy as fuck. That's right. <laughs> and apparently they're on the Bill and Samo's uh, record label. So oh. is that the connection? Okay, I found them on Facebook here. Iron Man says it's their fourth CD titled Endeavors. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Iron Man. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Info man. All right, so here's you, their guys. Facebook page here. Yes. Eddie Murphy, fuck you. There's the record Endeavors pre-order now. House yeah. Records, yeah. Cool, cool. There you go. So everybody's got multiple reasons to get out and see the show this weekend at Reno's Chop Shop, keeping Deep Ellum alive. That's right. Yes, sir. Get there early, stay late. Oh, this, this is going to be even bigger, I think. 
Oh, Burma Fest. Okay, Van, you got to tell them all about it because it, I think this is a great thing that y'all are doing. This is uh, by far the best show I'm going to play this year, hands down, no matter what else happens this year, because Mark Burma was a big supporter of not only local music, but also dogs. And if you don't love dogs, well, I don't love you, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and he unfortunately passed away last year, uh, but we were keeping his, you know, his vision alive and what thing he did was raise animals for dogs. So we got uh -huh. Drowning Pool, uh, Warthog Station, all these guys, of course, Vane too, uh, Earworm, and playing on the yeah. stage. And all the, everything is going to Paws in the City Foundation. So that, that's a foundation that helps find dogs home. So you know, I'm a Out of firm. curiosity, uh, no disrespect at all, uh, yeah. who is Drowning Pool singer now? It's a riot. And, and they, and I probably shouldn't uh, say this, but uh, I believe I've heard maybe through, uh, you know, secret st uh, stories being passed along that they might be releasing their single on that day also, with June 15th. That's cool. With the, with Ryan, their new singer. So they're, they're, I think they were in Chicago a couple of nights ago, last time I was chatting with them. Uh, that's going to be awesome, just sharing the stage with those guys. And, and uh, CJ has was always been a fan and friend of, of Mark Verma. So it was it was it was a pain in the fucking ass to get this thing worked out so we get them on this bill. But you know it it's it, it was worth it for doing anything for that guy Mark. He, he was a big supporter instead of local music man he you'd find that guy at every show or any weekend. You know if you wanted to find him go to Reno's at 2 a.m. There, there's Mark you know <laughs> yeah so there be dogs at the show. You know what Oh, you would hope and I, I'd be the only dog there, but that's, that's okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody drops, call me because I'd love to. Uh, we've been wanting to do something cool like this. Oh, and this at the studio, which is right there, part of uh, the Bomb Factory. It's a. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing this place last year. Phenomenal, beautiful facility. Great sound. It's going to be awesome. I, I think tickets. Sell last last Friday, like thirty five dollars, but all of it's going to the the Plaza City, and, and I, I've been I've been lucky enough to be kind of included in the the board helping build this show up. So I'm very proud of it, and and one of my objectives is to make sure that the money made goes to the dogs. And, oh, and I, I have been a stickler about asking the hard questions. Well, who's paying for that? How is that? You know, <laughs> just making sure. So I want to make yeah, sure but, that. But the real hard question is: Does every band go home with a dog? You know, <laughs> if the dog will take you. <laughs> well, and we want to be very supportive of all your shows here, Hef. We love Thank the you, fucking band Vane. But uh, this one especially, we hope everybody makes it a point to get out and support this cause with half. Yes, I appreciate that. Fuck yeah. And by the way, if you haven't seen Vane live, you really need to. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. Cool, cool. All right, other shows that are important to us coming up? Oh, I'm 420 at Diamond Gyms. We've got Mondo's, Bizarro's, Iron Man. <laughs> and then post mortem. Bring your own Slayer. weed. <laughs> bring your own, bring your own weed. B y o w. Be out. Another Iron Man show at Haltom Theater on April twenty seventh. Oh, back to back weekends almost. Cool, cool. All righty, y'all ready for chairs them? over there. Yeah, we do every week, man. We do every week. I don't know if you noticed in my weekly concert calendar intro, it actually had a little ad for each one of the clubs. I've seen that. That's cool. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, That's so really I'm cool. trying my best. I, what I'm going to do is add to that every week or whenever I can and get all the clubs in that we promote. It'll flash through them pretty fast with some heavy yeah, I'll music. I'll have to send you the one for the Dirty Water Saloon where we're doing our little show this weekend. It's a benefit, mm -hmm. kind of like uh, half steel. His is for dogs. Uh -huh. ours, is, ours is for homeless people. Yeah, it's called, it's uh, more like Rodney Festival. And uh, well, if you have a so YouTube channel and a video, I can play it. I, I'd have to go find it. 
uh, like I said, they've been posted on my Facebook a lot, and uh, we've been pushing it through there. I should have got it to you earlier, where we could have had all the info and a, a clip of you know. That's probably my fault. Right. This was a surprise. Yeah, it was kind of a. Uh, 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 but yeah, I would just uh, say that yeah, if you'll just hit the Facebook page, look for uh, Sunshine Emery, mm -hmm. feed the people, or look for more like Rodney Festival, twenty twenty four. It's at the Dirty Water Saloon out on West Highway 80, west side of Fort Worth. This Saturday, there's going to be food, drawings. Uh, there'll be auction. There will be live music. Uh, Wasteland, Texas, one of my uh, old oh, bands. Oh, hell yeah. Wasteland's awesome. Wasteland, Texas will be playing. What's and, Sunshine's uh, name again? Emery. Sunshine Emery. Emery. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can find her on Facebook. I was going to just page. try to find it on her page. And her other page is uh, Feeding the People. Feeding the People, come on. Yeah. Good <laughs> cause there. Good cause. More like Rodney Festival right here. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. right, Rodney Festival. Uh, that's this Saturday. At, like I said, usually if I do a festival at noon, mm -hmm. i got a hot mic. Anybody want to show up and play a tune? you got something you want to say, come up and say it. But uh, anytime I'm running a festival at noon, there's a hot mic. I guarantee you. Same thing at Hillbilly Throwdown, y'all. There, there it is, right there. The More Like Rodney Festival. It's got it's for a great cause. Like I said, it's a benefit for feeding the people. And the Chula Chasers are also in on it with us. They are with uh, MMHR and uh, Cook's Children's Hospital. They donated. I don't know. She, it was ungodly amount this year. Over and they've been raffling off bikes, y'all. They've been raffling off bikes. And FYI, they're going to be at Hillbilly Throwdown, too, raffling off a bike. Uh, cool, cool. For a good cause, y'all. All right, I got, I got a good cause, y'all. Take a set. Just now joining the show as a surprise gift, Rodney Hobbs. Hey, Rodney. I've been talking about you, brother. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah. Man. This is cool. Too. That is it. Yeah. I'm with, I'm with my best old lady right here, Kim. You know. Woo woo, Kimmy. Hi there, baby girl. Hey, girl. Peace, ma'am. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Rodney. Hi, Kim. It's great to have y'all on the show. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh, fuck yeah. It's been a good show tonight. We hung out with Mongo, which was a real treat. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hanging out with Megan and Chuck Hi, Red. <laughs> hey, no, you guys. I'm so oh. glad y'all joined. This is awesome, yeah. 180 West. I was talking about this band earlier. Uh oh. Uh, and we were we were talking about Weatherford Music well, Festival. We were talking about Rodney Fest. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did you get the like Yeah. Is this the Rodney Fest awesome. here? That's it, Ricky. Yes, yeah, sir. That is it. We're ready for this yes, hillbilly throwdown coming up. That's for sure. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun, I think, too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun last year. It gets better every year. Yeah. I'm learning as I go, though, kind of. <laughs> Fly by the seat of my pants. And if it were not for an amazing team and great people like y'all, it wouldn't be nothing. Hi, puppy. Our dog's going <laughs> The doggies want to be in the show. shirt you got on. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. This is my Gwoobie. This is my Gwoobie. My Guar hoodie. I got it at the last show that I went to see Guar. It was the show after Dave Rocky passed away. It literally says, Hail Odorous on the back. I have to stand up. Hold on. Awesome. Cool. That's a cool shirt. R.I.P., bro. Dude, I love this. This is my Gwoobie. My Guar hoodie. I love it. It's like a little blanket. <laughs> it was better than OnlyFans. And it, you know that last show that I saw of Guar? It was so sad. And they did like a whole thing where they were seeing him off to space and he was going on to another like 
mission and it was crazy but I fucking love Gwar. <laughs> yeah. I used to go to school with a boy. For what it's worth, uh, I can smell Chuck's oh, weed okay. from like okay. two counties over. <laughs> I believe it's purple mimosa. Purple mimosa. <laughs> it was. Or it is. Well, Kim, how are you doing, sweetheart? I hadn't seen I'm you in years. Good. I'm I'm hedging my dog like this. Yeah. Fashion <laughs> <Hushing> puppies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you. It's good to see Rodney. Like I hadn't seen you in forever. I uh, know. I can't wait to see y'all. Yeah, thanks Rodney. for being here tonight. Tell I'm, us about everything you got tired. coming up. I'm so tired of being one hand and the left hand does not work at all. But it's good at hitting Rodney. <laughs> Yeah, we got a, a time to stop down for you and promote this. I appreciate you being here. Yes. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah. To yeah, this Saturday, April 13th at uh, 5 o'clock, I think the band start. I think about 3 or so is when they're kind of be putting all the auction together. Yeah. But uh, more like Friday Festival 2024. Uh, Scott Wormack is, I guess, helping us out a lot on this. He's the one that really put it all together, I think, and a lot of help from other uh Ernie and uh, them from uh, Wasteland, Texas. But yeah, come out and check out Wasteland, Texas and get in on the auction. And uh, I think Sunshine is going to play this show too, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like Sunshine, Will Hancock, Randy Hawkins, and Cody Zane Wells, Wasteland, Texas. Yeah. That sounds cool. good. I'm hoping Bill will stop in there too. That's going to be a good one. I, I think they're even got a special guest. Stephen Prigmore is going to be there. Well, that's what I heard. The little bitty dog has lost it. It's going really, really fast around the house. <laughs> He's just excited to see his Aunt Megan. Hey, baby doggy. <laughs> Come here, Archie. Come see your Aunt Megan. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh, here's number blues. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm giving daddy kisses. Oh, I'm giving daddy kisses. Yeah. Man, what are you guys up to? <laughs> oh man, you know, just hanging out. Uh, yeah. Had to work. Day what day else? Day. You got anything yeah. else coming up besides hillbilly throwdown? Well, Saturday, Saturday um, morning, actually, Saturday at, uh, from 11 to 3, uh, 180 West will be at American Eagle Harley Davidson and Corinth. Of, uh, Hell yeah. Uh, that'd, be a, that'd be a full band. Doing, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, man. They have a, they have a bunch of bike stuff going on out there, bike specials, bike sales, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they got bike wash going on. They got cook going on. I'm getting Harley. Kind of what, what? Yeah, Me too, yeah. sister. She's, she's going to keep dreaming for a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna get me a two thousand soft tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm looking to. We'll be doing that from eleven to three, and then I'm hoping to come out to that Rodney Moore uh, field myself too. Uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward. I'll see you out there. Yeah. All right, I've got the uh, event page pulled up here for your event this weekend. Saturday, April 13th, American Eagle Harley Davidson. Yep. Awesome. Yay. It'll be fun. We're going to play a bunch of biker and drinking songs. Hey, why not? Hey, why not? <laughs> Y'all are going to hopefully play some of those out at the throwdown, too. Of course. <laughs> hey, I bought him a saxophone for Christmas. And he has oh. not used it yet on stage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. Uh, still, still lots of practice to go there, y'all. <laughs> I know how to mic up a sax. Okay. <laughs> Chuck knows it all. That's right. I'm like, where's the saxophone, sax, man? There is a little bit of saxophone <laughs> on this new track that I just recently did with my boy Ricky Warden. It will be coming out on April 14th. Check it out. Truly free. X-Extential featuring Ricky Warden. 
It's uh, Quit. a fantastic track. Yeah, and Ricky. Ricky fucking it's pretty sloppy. Park, man. <laughs> pretty sloppy, yo. Yeah. <laughs> sloppy Joes. I love Sloppy Joes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Well, I'll, I'll play it at the end of the it. show tonight. And I have a night. video also. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, Ronnie, thank you guys for coming on, man. So cool. Yeah. Well, thanks thank for inviting, you for inviting us. us. Yeah. I keep surprising these people, man. They're like, I'm just pretty much taking over the show. <laughs> hey, we're like, why not, man? Fucking Ricky Warden and Mongo's gonna be on there. Yeah. Chuck over here, man. Everything's good people, man. That's good right. <laughs> and Ricky, and I can't wait to see you, Ricky. Last time that we came out, you were still gone. You left. That's right. You bailed on us. <laughs> <laughs> he had emergency though with yeah, that I think, baby. I think the weather was, you know, a concern, and it wasn't just like at the moment. It was, you know, what was going to happen an hour and two hours. So sorry to push I know. that on me. Yeah. I know, sorry and he had to drive. <laughs> and you know what? It has. Thankfully, we have been so blessed. It has yet to rain on us. But even if it does this year, we got a covered pavilion for the patrons and for the stage. So that's fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 I'm definitely thinking about bringing my son out. I'm going to try. Yes, please come. Oh, awesome. Yeah. It's, great. Uh, it's all my, uh, our, uh, our granddaughters. <laughs> that's how old I am. That's our, our granddaughter's 18th birthday. Yep. <laughs> My is it really? Oh my gosh! Well, of course she gets in free. She's a patron of honor. She gets to be. Yeah. She's a birthday girl. I'm hoping she's gonna bring all her friends out there and go camping. Yeah, out, so. her, hell yeah! She, she, come she on, girl. Face pierced up, but she took out the one on her nose right here. She's already graduated. She graduated from Mexico early, even. But, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah! So this is like graduation and birthday party. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just remember sativa at the beginning of the night, indica at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I like it hybrid all the time. <laughs> My I'm gonna have it hybrid myself. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Kitty 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 me mamas. All right. Well, here's a Another show coming up, y'all, really soon. That's very important to me. I'll share this. Yeah, thanks for being here. Appreciate your time. It's always good seeing you, especially. Yeah. Yeah, it's good seeing you too. Hopefully, we'll all get together at the Hibbly Throwdown in a circle, man. Come on now. Who is Matthew yeah. Cuss? <laughs> Who is Matthew I'll Cuss? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a Matthew Cuss. I've got someone back. Take it from somebody that's Matthew been there. Cuss. Don't smoke anything from somebody you don't know. Okay. Good advice. Sound advice. I'm here to educate 
as well as entertain. <laughs> All right, so Matthew Cuss is backstage. If anybody knows him, I'll bring him up. But otherwise, let's get through this concert calendar and listen to some good music and have a good time. Hey, 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 guess what's this week? Yeah. Yeah. Division Brewing. We've got lots of things happening. Music starting on Friday. We have Nick's Hell Fury, Sodomy Cop, Mental Warfare, and Death Pack. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting names that come to Division Brewing, and I will never, um, I will never not be entertained by them. The Cutthroat Finches. <laughs> I will say this: the, the greatest band name I've ever heard was Maggot Filled Asshole. They were a <laughs> death metal band from Oklahoma back in the mid 2000s. I don't know if they're still around, but that is still the greatest band name I've ever heard. That gets your cool. attention. Saturday, Cutthroat Finches and Brave Little Howl. Ow. Yeah, our first magazine was called Cutthroat Press back when Cutthroat I was. Cutthroat Press. Yeah. I have yeah. a couple of Do you? There were two issues of the Cutthroat Press. That's I it. Have two, I have two of the same one. I'm not sure who's on the cover. Maybe. Uh, Ronnie James Dio, probably. Maybe. <laughs> I'm big a mountain. Well, yeah. Well, the second one, I believe, and the last one, if I'm right, there's two of them, uh, has Ronnie James Dio on the cover, and um, he's got a ring around him. I got kind of caught the light ring. I took it with a 110 camera. As yeah. a little kid, I knew how to get pictures. Yeah. So anyway, yep, that, uh, that would be really cool to see one of those sometime, Chuck. Let's see where you at. There we go. Yeah, that'd be really cool to see one sometime. If you want to bring one up, just let me know. Because Cutthroat's Press goes way back. I had five magazines of uh, a magazine called the Skull Press. Skull Press for a little while, yeah. That's magazine. I think I, think I even have one of the old Skull Presses. Like I said, I've got stacks of old flyers from bands from everywhere back in the day. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. like old hammer witch flyers, gamma side, you know, people like hell that. yeah. Oh you my know, goodness, I would see one on the wall, I'd rip it down and put it in my pile. Oh, <laughs> yes, darling. Uh, <laughs> my, so one awesome. wall, my one wall is covered with a lot of flyers in the studio. I keep I change them out pretty regular that way they don't get stale, you know. But I just right. rotate my flyers on this one wall in the studio. <laughs> All right. Y'all, it's getting dark. My hey, only dark. light is my pool light. My poolie. All right, so here we are supporting Reno's over here. Another 420 show. Are these all bands before I start naming off stuff? I know <laughs> that is. Okay. I believe they're bands. That's Rat Ratik. Ratik. Radic. Sure. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Two things. One, uh, anti rad is fucking awesome. If you're into like political uh, punk rock, they're fantastic. Also, two, okay. I don't know if you know this, but if you mixed uh, moonshine in with uh, mushrooms and blend it with a blender, you'll have a really unique experience. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Go ahead. I can see so. Yeah, thank you. Yep, we did that one time, mushrooms and moonshine, and uh, actually got to brand a Frenchman. Oh my gosh! Sounds like you could write a song or two, mushrooms we'll to and moonshine, my friend. <laughs> he, he was he was a guy that came from another friend of mine to visit a little bit, and he he kept calling him Frenchman. He said, "Dude, I'm not a Frenchman. My parents are from France. I was born here." He said, well, you're still a fucking Frenchman. And so he kind of got mad. And he's like, what are you going to do? You know, get you keep calling me a fucking Frenchman. So we kind of like, well, around here, we brand our steers. And he pulled his pants down and said, brand me. We had a bonfire going with the end of the that was burned off and blowing on the end. So we branded a fucking Frenchman. 
<laughs> and uh, he ran around the backyard raising hell and running, scratching his ass, you know. Falling. He's like, well, what am I going to do? It burns like a month. Ago. I said, you need to put some mustard on it and it'll quit burning. <laughs> I go in the house, come out with some uh, mustard and we squirt it on his ass. And this motherfucker took off running again, screaming it's worse. <laughs> kind of showed him that it was French mustard, you fucking Frenchman. <laughs> you should have gone with the honey mustard, not the spicy mustard. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty mad at us. But yeah, that was moonshine and uh, fucking mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Brand of the Frenchman. You would say they've done that. I have done that. <laughs> well, really you cool. came here for hillbilly throw down float fest stories tonight and you're getting them oh yeah no charinos yeah this is a comedy thing they have going on so i just wanted to point it out that there is comedy at reno's we'll have a good laugh there's hillbilly throw down this is this weekend oh this is that trees April 11th is tomorrow. Ah, so. Ramp nine Thursday tour. Show. Not sure what half of that name is, but okay. And then check this out. We got a bolt neck band X regrets here at the growl. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. The growl. I like that place. Are you going to be there or running sound? No, I will not. Uh, the 17th, I am uh, going to be at Possum Kingdom Lake. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll be getting there. ready. Get, oh, okay, mate. Hang out with the Tonys. Possum Kingdom. Under the Influence Comedy Show. Uh, that's another thing at Reno. Not 420. 19th. But it's another show at Reno's. Got three right. things coming up in Deep Ellum. We have Swerve City, a tribute to Deftones, Voices, and Beware Criminals. Creepa. Coming up with Low Gear, Iron Jaw, Life of Scars, Pass the Ammunition at the studio, June 1st. And the Strombellas. I'm not going to lie, when I found this one, I read the Strombolis <laughs> because I was very hungry. And on my lunch break with garlic bread, mm. garlic bread. better save that flyer. We'll show it at the concert calendar. Costello tomorrow at what, Tulips. My last vice appearing with Grand Illusion, Ultimatum, Enigma. Y'all, I know I say this every time I see Enigma, but they're a really great band. You'll have to see them lots of energy. They like to jump around on stuff, it's epic. And this is May well, that would be interesting because uh, Dr. Jekyll's is a very small venue. So to see somebody jump around there, you're going to see if you can. Come. Oh, they'll do it. And it's going to be dope. This is also the same day as this. Oh. Yeah, throw down. So sorry about that. Uh, my last advice. Everybody's going to be at the hey, You can't back. go to every show, man. There's so many shows. You can't go to all of them. Just pick the one that you think you want to go to and have the most fun and go. Okay. Just go. All the because, shows are in Fort Worth and now, Arlington, now, which is now, an hour and a half say, for me. If you see a show where Bolt Neck Sound will be a part of it, go to you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are plugging me to death tonight, guys. I, I don't know what to say. Ooh, this is my favorite. Oh, dude, you, you, Dude, you're going to be constipated by the end of this show. <laughs> it's time to play. Name that metal band. All these these ones aren't as bad as ones before. I might right. get that too. Tyrannical okay. deception. Cesspool of corruption. Tyrannical. Uh, trip. Tyrannical deception. We've interviewed them then, before. And then a uh, bloody cum web sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, this show is April 27th, and it will be at the Haltom. So check it out. Maybe go ask them what their band name really is. Yeah, yeah. thanks again. Go check out their webpage. Yep, check this them out. tomorrow. We'll say this. Uh, 
I, I love Incubus. I love Deftones. I love mm -hmm. Oasis. Uh, it's interesting to have them all on the same bill. <laughs> hey, you got to appeal to all crowds of music so that they all come out. Uh, Robert from uh, Mad Mexicans, he's in that tribute band, uh, uh, Brewer Criminals, but he's also going to be at uh, our show June 15th, Mad Mexicans, celebrate their 21st year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I, I will say this. Uh, every, everybody always uh, goes, hey, that's Dave. He's a metalhead. I, I am, but I will say this: Oasis is my favorite band of all time, and I have no shame about that. Yeah, I'll see you know about. All right, it's got Mad Mexicans on it. We just added them. They're the we well we two weeks ago we just added them, but uh, they're going to okay. be part celebrating so twenty one years of doing it. Kick ass. There we always have is, a discussion everybody. in our band, Guilty Pleasure Music, and I was like, I feel guilty about no music that I listen to. So. <laughs> Here's a death metal show this weekend at Halton oh, Theater. Yes. And dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Little band. We really should dedicate a two hour show to just guessing <laughs> this one. And no cheating. Uh, I will say Squash Bowels is a great name. <laughs> Necessary death. Thank you for making your nice logo legible. <laughs> I like that sinister logo. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the sinister one's pretty dope. Severed savior. Sure. What was severed? I want to know. Inert disease. Maybe yeah, if they can extend the flyers like this, they should at least print it for us so us old people can really know what it is. <laughs> I wonder the person who made this flyer just kind of looked at it and was like, I love them like can and some are weird. <laughs> well, I really need to take an yeah. extra another minute to kind of break <laughs> this down and you know make better <laughs> graphics of it so that we can see it better and play a game with it. You know, yeah, really. we all Who's have to do ever heard of the that band Dandy and... Balls and Legs of Spread and Penis Butt? <laughs> exactly. Peanut Butter? <laughs> yes. Uh, pe penis Butter and Jelly. No, no, that's Jelly. So just showing Chad love. He's got all the death metal shows out there at Haltom Theater. Much love for Chad over there. He is a hard hitter, man. That dude has got his foot in the door and he's hammering it out. Yeah. Flicker yeah, so. stick, April thirteenth at Trees. Special guest, Gentleman Rhodes, Ottoman Turks. That's this weekend, right? Flicker stick. I know them. Wait, I, I thought that here's a here's a heavy boat neck show. Ooh, the Mayo Metal Fest. Oh, okay. tap. Oh, you know, I just saw Love Sick Drug this past Sunday, and they were selling tickets for the show. Yep. Swarm, you know, Iron a, a Jaw, lot of folks hate... have like a negative experience dealing with OTEP. I, I will say this: I saw them back in O2. They were the friendliest motherfuckers, uh, fucking ever. And oh. uh, my boys, Black Belt Jones, opened for them, and it was a <laughs> wonderful show. That's very kind of you to say. Chuck, would you like to review? I, I, I know, I, 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 I know, some, I know. Some people have like a negative view of Otep because they came out with a song called "Menocide," which they all just assumed was just kill all men. But uh, you know, uh, have a sense of humor if it's. Ooh, Dreadlands on here. Gotta watch that band. They're so good. I like their costumes. The bass player. He's my new hero. Oh, and dude, Evacora, if, if you've never experienced your bowels, like, bleeding out of your butthole, that is the band that you need to see. That sounds terrible, Dave. You'll be all right. No. I like my bowels perfectly where they are. <laughs> Not bleeding from my butthole. Damn. Well, okay, the iron jaw will be there. Let me do that. 
Love Sick Dragon D. All right. Swarm. Yeah. Uh, shout out. Weekend. Shout out to our boy Rick Perry. Rick Perry, always a wonderful guest to have on the show. Thank you. Next. And then Love Sick Drug. Our, our brother uh, Lou Morris is part of Love Sick Drug. I keep telling him, hey, come on the show and bring Billy Blair so that I can uh, talk to him about movies, most especially uh, Cherokee Creek, which is a movie that he was thoroughly involved in. I would really like to talk to him about the process of making that movie. That guy's in so many movies. I, I, I tried to count him a while, a while back. He is in a lot of movies. Hey, Chuck and Dave Jarvis, do you know a bass player named Matthew Cuss? I do not. Yeah. I only know uh, maybe one doesn't, Matthew. Doesn't uh, scream anything at me. Y'all say hi to Matthew Cuss. Right, Peace, brother. Hey, Matthew. Matthew. Welcome to the Wait, party, hey. Matthew. What band are you in? Uh, Hedonistic Punk Bottles. That's right. I seen you the other day. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. boy. Hell yeah. My last name is pronounced Coos, though. That Coos. So you're the new, Coos. You're the new bass player? Yeah. Only I've right, only done two. Huh? I ran hey, some Thank you for like being that. here. Thanks for being patient with me. Go oh, ahead, yeah. Charlie. No worries, man. I love the show. Yeah, I, I ran sound for those guys a couple of times. I really dig the heck out of them. Yep, yep. Good to see you on board with them. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to be on our show. We're on board awesome. with the Punk Vatos all the way, man. There they're going to be on our show here coming up May 11th. It's a free show at Diamond Gems in Arlington. Uh, right on got yeah. Dank on there, Warhog, uh, Rivet Head, uh, and the Argonaut. Good lineup. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's going to be a good gas show. He gets snored. All right, so with that, I think that's all the shows. Great. Cool. Let's see where we're I'm going to keep here. listening, but I'm out, sauerkraut. I love you guys. See you later. I'm pretty tired, too. I just Bye, say, Ariel. I, I love Bye. everybody on the panel. Thank you very much. Ariel, Ricky, y'all are fucking awesome. Y'all are my families. That's it. Hey, y'all are pretty awesome. My Let's hear, Let's hear, Let's some, hear music. some music, man. Be okay, I want to say phone. thank you to everybody here in the chats tonight. Thank you for everybody on the show. And uh, we got this Creeper show Saturday, May the 4th. want to point that out while I'm over here. And let's have a good time listening to a little music, starting with something special by X610 Chill. And... <laughs> Myself. All right, now we're going to listen to two songs by Against All Odds. This is everybody's favorite called Cold.
cruising at 62 and then began for breakfast to hallucinate the noon. She ran to school with stop sign in my stolen car. So they took her to the pokey for a real R&R. Now all my drinking buddies are in hell. Now they all my
Backing it up, that was Against All Odds, Savior from Hell. And before that, you were listening to Vain, Relentless. Before that was Dank, All My Drinking Buddies. And then before that, Against All Odds again with Cold. How's everybody on the panel on the show tonight? Woo -woo. I'm good, Ricky. Thank you. Thank you for being here, especially you, Johnny, and, and both of you. Y'all don't have to stay and listen to music with me, but I enjoy listening to those songs. Yeah. A really good show again tonight. I really appreciate it. Well, I had fun. Thank you, Johnny. You're awesome. I enjoy the show. Um, I, I like coming in here every week, listening to all the different people you bring up on the panel and, 
and stuff like that. And, and uh, this is so much support. That's what I'm going to do every week. And uh, you guys yeah. rock and roll, man. Dave Jarvis, you, man, I love you, bro. You're good people. Van, 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 how you doing, Van? I got your, I got your stickers, Van. Thank you. Van stickers. Yeah, I got them right here. They glow in the dark. John, John is awesome. I got a dick. Pick. I got. I didn't, I didn't get a pick from him, but I got a. I got a stickers from him. It might be a little suggestive. Dick pick. That's how we do. Awesome. Check it out. A vein sticker in Long Beach, California. Love it. And it glows in the dark, too, I guess. Hmm. I have to wrap it around your like blue beard. Celebrate the eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's my last song. Good night. See everybody next Wednesday. Hi, right, Ricky. Take it, take it easy, y'all. How it seems the chase is better than the cash I had heard in my grasp set her free to see if she would come back to me Lord Come back to me Love Come back to me In the night we hear the cries With the new day love draws nigh Free Truly free Songbird sings, cherry cherry, melody playing my heart screams. Oh, come back to me. You can get into it, baby. Free, truly free. Love, come back, I want you. Come back, love, come back to me.
Funny how it seems the chase is better than the care. 